Hello and welcome back to Next Goal Wins. This is breaking news. Leicester City have just pied company with Nigel Pearson. What is going on at our club? We're going to talk about it. Like I just said, Leicester have parted company with Nigel Pearson today. I have no idea what's going on at my club. Why have we got rid of Nigel Pearson? My man who kept us in the division last season. If we were going to get rid of him at any point, it should have been last season. I can't understand this. I'm not sure where this has come from, really. I, I'm not really a great advocate of Pearson. When he got sacked last season, in inverted commas, I was happy for him to go. But this seems unbelievably strange to me. At the moment, we have no facts. Literally, the news broke, what is it, two and a half minutes ago. I'm reporting this as soon as it's just happened. I can't understand this decision. I, who are the club going to bring in? Uh, who's, who are the club going to bring in? There's no managers available at the moment, really, who I can see us bringing in. There's Gus Hiddings just left as a Netherlands manager. He's not going to come to Leicester. I'm not really sure why this has happened. Someone on Fox's talk the other day, I'll hand it to him, said Nigel hasn't commented on any of the transfers, recent transfers. And maybe there could be a, a way out for him, but this is unbelievable. You can see how shocked I am. I can't believe that a month and eight days to go till we kick off a new season. I thought our biggest worry was what the new away kit when that was going to come out. Now we haven't got a fucking manager. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, Nigel's gone, man. What's the next step for the club? Where, where do we go next? What what kind of manager are the club looking at now? I mean, this brings question marks over the signing of Okazaki and... and if Nigel wanted him or if it was really an owner's signing. I mean, the club looks like we're going in such a good direction. This puts Cambiasso, what's going to happen to him now? He, he might have only stayed if Nigel stayed or only stayed if Nigel left. I mean, I can't believe the club have got rid of him. I really can't believe. And we don't know the circumstances. Like I said, this is all guesswork. But, I mean, it must have come from the owners, you'd think. I can't see Nigel wanting to leave. He's not going to get another job. Bigger than this, uh, I can't. Well, no, I can't see him getting another Premier League team. So this is unbelievably strange. I'm, to be honest, I'm absolutely shocked. Bamboo's order. I, I can't believe this has happened for Nigel to to have left now. To have just started with Sydney. I know I sound like a massive Nigel Pearson fan. I promise you, I'm not to that extent. But I just can't see who else we're going to get in. That's the thing. It's it's unbelievably shocking to me that the club can part company with Nigel when there's a month and eight days to the season. Who are we going to get in now? Who do you want? Who do you want as a Leicester fan? I mean, let's not talk about who we're going to get. Who's available? Who is available? I can't think the only Premier League quality manager who's available. The only kind of manager we can get is be someone who's out of a job, and there aren't many of them. I mean, it's, it's unbelievably shocking. It's interesting in a way to see who we're going to get in, but I didn't think we needed a change of manager at all. Nigel's brought around, what, two promotions, League One promotion, promotion from a championship, kept us in the Premier League, got to a playoffs twice unsuccessfully. Why would we get rid of him? Arguably our most successful manager since O'Neill. Uh, it's unbelievably strange to me. The club, unless they're trying to get this marquee manager, but I think Nigel would have done well for us this season. I think it would have kept us in the division. I it's a very, very strange one to me. I think it beckons a lot of questions of Pearson's mentality and maybe he's asked too much. Let's hope, I've put this video up now, let's hope it doesn't happen what happened in the summer and he ends up getting his job back in 10 minutes and I look like the fool on the internet. It's It can't happen again. It's unbelievable that Nigel, I mean the club obviously at this time have released an official statement, but for Nigel to to be gone as last manager seems unbelievably surreal. To I've woken up this morning, I was thinking, oh, my video later, can be asked deal will be pushed over the line, not Nigel will be gone as the manager of Leicester City. What do you lot think about this, really? I mean, tell me, what do you think? I'm going to upload this video, I know it's only a short one, I might do another one in a minute as more stuff comes out, but I had to get my views across on, on Pearson. I mean, he's been a great manager for our club, I'm not going to deny that, I'm not going to take that away from him. The players seem to like him, everyone seemed to like him. If it's come from the owners, I don't know why. I don't know why they've got rid of Nigel. I'm ranting on and on and I'm in shock because this is a club I love. You all know this is a club I love and I don't want it to go to pot. I don't want to be in the Championship again. We're a Premier League club. We should be in the Premier League and I don't want to get one of these these Fulhams getting in these foreign managers, Felix McGarson going straight down, West Brom, Pepe Mel, rubbish. I don't want one of these foreign imports. I'm not saying we won't go up. I'm not saying I'm not saying we'll get a new, we won't get a new manager in who's a massive marquee. We, I'm not saying we won't get Gus Hiddink and we'll finish top ten. But from this moment in time, I come back and I'll look at this video in a, a seat after the season and we'll see. But at this moment in time I don't know why we've got rid of Nigel Pearson. And now we'll never know if he'd have kept us in the, in for another season. It seems a very, very strange one to me, and one I can't really get my head around. Please comment below on this one. Please comment below. I'm going to do another video probably later if you want me to and talk more about it in depth. Please, everyone, let me know in Fox's store and in the comments below what you feel about this massive breaking news. 
Uh, it's it shot me, it really has shot me, but to reload your phone, Leicester released a statement, you're thinking Esteban's here, it's Nigel gone. Um, what's the club going to look like now? I mean, what's the, what are the players going to think, thinking about this? It must have come out of the blue. I can't, we're not even in for pre-season now. It, why, have, why, that's the point, why haven't we sacked him already this summer? If we sacked him now, either the transfers he's already brought in, Okazaki, Fuchs, they're his transfers. Let's look at like that, they're either his transfers or they're not his transfers. But either it's either come from Nigel, and if it's come from Nigel, why have we sacked him now? Because they're his players he's bought in. And according to, to Walsh and Shakespeare, we've been looking at him for two years, so it must be a Nigel signing. If it's not from Nigel, why is Nigel still there? Why haven't we already got rid of him? I, I can't work any of it out. A new manager's coming in now. Yes, we've still got a month of transfer window left, but we've blown, what, eight million of our budget already on one player. Yeah, we're going to get two and a half back from Wood, but... We don't, we don't know now. I mean, yeah, it's exciting times in a way, but it's not exciting because it's not a direction I think the club needs to go in. I, I hope it's not a, I hope it's not a, a, a signing to get a managerial sign, say, to get money or publicity. That's not what the club needs at this period in our time. We need stability. We need to stay in the Premier League. We don't want anyone big. I mean, Sam Allardyce, he's not in a job. Could it be Allardyce? I'd, I'd take Allardyce. At least he's secure. He'll keep us in the division. Please, everyone, comment below. Let me know what you think about this for Leicester. Please like the video and subscribe to me. You're going to get a lot of Leicester videos now, especially now this has happened. But like I said, I'm probably doing another one later. Let me know what you want to know. Thanks for watching. What's going to happen with our club?